Hello, back. As you guys can see, I had to take them glasses off because it was just reflecting the doorway in my glasses. But I pulled three more cars from the top. Yeah, three more cars from the top just to sum this up for the ones who can't decide whether they want a new love or true love. So, trust. This situation is calling you to have faith. Because children is involved. This situation right here, children is going to be involved. Whether you go to a new love, this person probably want a child, or go back to your past love. That, ch that person probably want to implant their seed up in you. You know what I'm saying? So your love life is being affected by children because, hey, someone going to trap you for the wrong reason. Someone going to get you for the right reason. And spirit, it, it is what it is. I got to put this up close. Release your eggs. It says time. The time has come to clear your energy. And we said that earlier within the message. Okay? Take back control of your life. Flirt. Just because this was true love. Did, did you guys even have a honeymoon? Honeymoon meaning enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. The time. Did y'all even create a honeymoon with your past life? I, and, and, and if you ask me, I said no. It was unrequited love. Someone was doing way too much within the past to the point that was just they have you in your they the energy that they carry really didn't have you in in your energy to carry. Okay, it didn't, it wasn't keeping you optimistic about your love life. Instead, it, it, it kept you, I'm going to say unrequited. <laughs> I don't know. It was a lot of passion, but other than that, Spirit said release your ex. I'm not going to get get into this story no more because I already know what opportunity I done took. Okay, very optimistic about my love life. Okay, I know it's safe for me to love. I know I have new love, full of passion, and it's still going to be true love. You know, experience this whole journey over. So I hope that resonated with you guys. Let's get a message as above, so below, just for clarification for some. If you guys still second-guessing yourself, you got to stop it. You have to stop it. Okay, you have to stop it. This is my cards, my oracle cards that I wrote for myself. So let's see what spirit has, which is me within me. <laughs> okay, let's see. I see inner wisdom. I see inner wisdom. So listen to yourself, listen to the spirit within inside you. <laughs> Listen. Let's see. Spirit, give me a message for this read. For this for my collective. Ooh, this is a lot. That is a lot. Let me see if I got time for this. Cause when they put it up in your face, baby, it's in your face. It's in your face. So let's see. We have obligation. You are obligated to act. Or, uh, or course of action to which a person is morally or legally bound. Morally, we have the religion factor. Morally, um, in their upbringing or legally in their uh, spiritual spirituality, um, bound a duty or commitment is up to you. You obligated. You are obligated. So the, the condition of being morally or legally bound to do something, to do something is to observance, right? You are obligated to observe the action or practice of fulfilling or respecting the requirements of law, morality, or ritual. Ooh, spirit is talking. Spirit is talking whether you guys hear or not. Um, the action of watching or noticing something what do you guys notice what do you see 
And if you see what you like, <laughs> Spirit said, take it. I know you can't see my writing, but it said, take it. Reach for and hold or remove someone or something from a particular place. Please take me away. Please take me away, God. I'm ready to come home, Jesus. Take me. Take me, I'm yours. Okay, we got uh, perception. Having or showing sensitive insight, discerning, responsive. Oh, oh, that's what you are observing. My um sensitive insight. <laughs> Baby, you can have it. If you need it, you can have it. If you want it, you can have it. I, I, I'm full of it. Full of it. Okay? Estrangement. I am full of it. Here go another response. <laughs> the fact of no longer being on friendly terms or part of a social group. The fact of no longer living with one spouse. Separation. Look, I don't have time for that. I ain't living with him. I ain't doing that. Like, look, look, ladies. Sometimes observe where you are at and take Hold on to whatever you need to take and hold on to from that person. Okay? Reach for it. Reach out for them. Take that head. You ain't with your spouse. You ain't on friendly terms with them. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We got compliance. Um, the property of a material of undergoing elastic deformation or of a gas change in volume with when subjected to an applied force baby yes you did you applied it on me baby you made me uh, turn up the volume a little bit and i like that i love that energy for some if this resonates with that person that you talking to right now baby he did, did he turn you up a notch did he turn you up a notch <laughs> I bet your spouse didn't do it because that's why y'all in a separation now. Y'all was in a separation because, look, it, it was an imposter syndrome somewhere. An imposter feel like they didn't belong. An imposter feel like they didn't, didn't belong. But one of the imposters started to acknowledging their expertise and accomplishments was the key. That what that person gave you, baby, to acknowledge your expertise. They touch you up a notch. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, a curtly with, uh, I'm sorry, with re reference to something unpleasant or unwelcoming. This imposter syndrome that didn't, didn't belong was unpleasant and unwelcoming. I wish they would try to enter this energy. I wish they would. I'm shutting everything down. Don't you play with me. It ain't none of that. We ain't on friendly terms. Stock. I ain't got no goods, no merchandise kept on its premises of a business or warehouse and available for sale and distribution. I ain't got that for you. Not for the new new baby. We we stocked up, baby. Ain't that right? High five. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, holy, holy. We stocked up with holy. Holy stock. <laughs> we dedicated morally, spiritually, excellence, yes, in a way that this is considered right according to the code of behavior of a particular society. Baby, we know where we at. Ain't that right, husband? Ain't that right, husband? It's compelled. It's forced. It, it wasn't even forced, but it, it, it did bring about something by the use of force of pressure. There was that gas and that volume that you made me turn up a notch to do this right here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and, and, and seems, seems, a line along you, little baby. You, you you sold it together. You sold it together. Two pieces of fabric are sewn together. Baby, that's us. That's us. That's us. That's you and your partner, y'all. That's you and y'all new love. Y'all new love. Y'all sewn together. What you see is what he see. What you do is what you do. Y'all are one. Ooh. Proportion. A part to share a number considered in cooperative relation to a whole equally so. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. 
scarce, especially a food, money, or some other resource insufficient.